Hi, and welcome to a rant in my annoying cop out series in which I cover discussion stoppers that really grate on me. In this video, I'll discuss an infamous doozy that has plagued me since I was a kid in the 1990s, which is get over it, going by other names like let it go, forget about it, move on, quit hanging on, and deal with it. This retort is abusive, cruel, dismissive, minimizing, and rude, since it basically means your feelings don't matter, thus invalidating the other person for their real feelings and making those saying it often uncaring and controlling assholes. And worse yet, people can even tell themselves to get over their own issues and invalidate their own feelings, which is an emotionally self-destructive thing I'm very guilty of. Sometimes people tell others to get over it and let it go with good intentions, but more often it's a manipulative silencing tactic ordering the other person to change how they feel when they simply can't. I was told to get over certain feelings I had since I grew up in the 1990s. In the late 1990s in particular, I was told to get over my various dislikes which my late foster mother slash guardian called fanaticisms, such as my embarrassment to take my own shirt off in public, which she called the breast thing, and my contempt for Star Wars as it was before The Phantom Menace. The time I had my Orion 2 spaceship model and concept taken away to force me to get over my hatred for the X-Wings in 1999 was a good example of telling me to get over my feelings, and yes, it only worsened my contempt for Star Wars. I've told myself to get over certain dislikes I've had since the 1990s, when I didn't heed my foster brother's warning to avoid Star Wars and just stick with Star Trek out of the two. The worst case of this has been often telling myself to get over my anger at the scene in which the Colo Clawfish got eaten to save the Bongo in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace, which divided me against myself on a reminiscence bump in a Kirk vs. Picard fashion at Star Trek Generations. The latest and worst case of me being told to get over it was years of online abuse to shove more of the same old Super Godzilla 12 derived confused Matthew apologetics drama in my face starting two months before SD-12 was retired with CS Bob 447's now deleted February 8th, 2013 one-shot commentary on me. When I stated how confused Matthew's fans abused people who critiqued that reviewer, CS Bob brought up how many years ago that Lion King review was posted as to tell me to let it go while continuing to do the same behaviors that upset me. My critics telling me to let it go with Confused Matthew was downright hypocritical since Dark Master Rises refused to let go of the fact that I didn't respect Confused Matthew's opinion he liked as to manipulate Evil Brosif and others to dogpile me to the point of dropping out of college. It took until 2018 for that bandwagon to finally end, but by then, the devastation had long since been done. Anyone who's the first to say any variant of get over it always loses the argument every single time, since it terminates the discussion, sometimes even before it begins. Instead of telling someone to get over it, please help them get through it and let their anguish run its course, pass over, and leave them behind without cutting them off just to feel comfortable. If you're not willing to acknowledge the other person's feelings or help them get through it, then simply stay out of their way and shut up. 